Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I was out at Michael's shopping for a totally different DIY video and I came across some yarn that looked absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to make an arm knit blanket using the roving wool that you see in the really big balls, but it's so incredibly stupid expensive. So I found this yarn yesterday. I'd never seen it before at Michael's. I don't know if it's new or not but it is delicious. It is so soft um, and really pretty. I made this blanket last night with it and it turned out amazing. I love the color. And then I have this one in white. Um, the brand is called Loops and Threads and this color is white, super original with the naming guys. But yeah, I thought showing you how to make an arm knit blanket using the white would probably be the easiest. Um, and this is how mine turned out last night. I went ahead and gave it a test to make sure I knew how much yarn to tell you. Um, but it turned out really well. Um, of course, with arm knitting, there's gonna be loops and holes through the blanket, but when you cuddle up with this, it is so yummy. It's so soft, um, and it's really pretty to add to your decor in your house. Um, it adds some really nice texture and some really great color. And the reason why I bought this yarn that I found was because normally it's $6.99 per skein of yarn, and it's on sale right now for $3.99 and I had a 25% off coupon. So I basically got enough yarn to make two blankets for like $35, which is ridiculous. So if you're seeing this video, um, run out to Michael's and see if this yarn is there or if it's on sale or if not, I'm sure you can find it online um, and purchase it that way. Okay, so to get started, um, you're gonna use the working yarn coming out of your skein to create your tail. So um, I like to do 20 stitches for this blanket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure uh, the yarn on our forearm. We're gonna do that about 15 to 20 times. And then we're gonna make a slip knot. So this is my tail and then this is my working yarn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold them between my fingers, hold the loop up here, twist, and then pull the working yarn through the loop and that creates a slip knot. Okay, and then we're gonna loop that onto our arm and then we're gonna cast onto our arm. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna have the tail over here to your right, if you're using your right arm, which I am right-handed, so this is for a right-handed person. You're gonna take your fingers and go between the two strands. Your pointer finger is gonna go with your tail and your thumb is gonna go with the working yarn. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap them around, grab, the yarn with this hand and then pull down so that you make an X and turn like this. You're gonna take your pointer finger that has the cast on already on it, go under this loop, and then you're gonna come around with your hand. Your whole hand's gonna go through it and then you're gonna grab this one that's on your finger and make a loop and then pull through. So again, the working yarn is going around my thumb and the tail is going around my pointer finger I'm gonna grab the bottom with my hand, pull it down, make the X's, point your finger goes under this loop to reach your hand through, come around this loop and go under it and then come through. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a few more times and then I'll fast forward through the video. So one more time. Point your finger goes around the tail, thumb goes around the working yarn coming out of the skein. You're gonna grab the bottoms with your fingers behind it, pull down, and now you have these semi X's on your fingers. You're gonna go under this one, you're gonna come through, and this one's gonna lift up, and you're gonna go under it and come through the hole. It's really simple once you get a hold of it, I promise. Once you figure it out, it'll be second nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast on 20 times here and then we'll go ahead and start with our knitting. Okay, I have now cast on 20 times. It looks like I have a cast on my arm. Uh, this is 20 times and I think any more might be too hard to get on your arm. Um, so now we're gonna start knitting so you'll notice that your tail is now really short. Um, we're not gonna be using the tail anymore, so don't touch it, don't use it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start knitting. So this is like the super easy part. Honestly, the hardest part about this is learning to cast on, but I promise if you watch that a few times, you'll get it. So when you start knitting, 
Um, we're going to take the working yarn in the hand that has the stitches on our arm. You're gonna hold the working yarn and you're gonna pull one of the loops off to create another loop. And then you're gonna put your hand through that loop, grab the working yarn and tighten the stitch up on your arm. So you're gonna want to kind of get it tight enough that it's like snug on your arm because you don't want the loops huge, but at the same time you need to be able to get it off of your hand to knit. So just keep that in mind. And then what you'll do is you'll put the working yarn back in the hand that has the stitches, pull another loop, put your hand through that, tighten up your, on your arm, and keep doing that over and over again. So pull the working yarn, pull a loop off, create a new loop, stick your hand through it, tighten up, and then just keep going. So um, for this particular blanket that I did, um, I did 20 stitches onto my arm and then I knitted about 32 rows. Gosh, that, be aware that this uh, yarn sheds a little bit. <laughs> it's in my nose. Oh God, Ugh, it's in my eye. So for this particular blanket, you're gonna need six skeins of that yarn that I showed you. They're 24 yards each, but you'll need six of them in order to be able to make a blanket at this size. And this blanket is good for like an individual, just like one person, um, just to snuggle up under. It's not by any means big enough for like a bed or something unless you're just laying it across the end. You can always do more. It depends upon how big your loops are, honestly. But um, 32 is what I've found to be the number of times that I've knitted. So I am going to keep knitting this guy and it'll probably take me about an hour and once I finish that, I will come back and I'll show you how to finish off your blanket. Okay, I have finished using my first full skein so you can see I've got a bit of work done already but here I am in the middle of my stitches and I've come to the end of my working yarn so when you're ready to add on another skein all you have to do is pull the yarn out from the skein again um, and this is the other skein that I'm gonna add to this one all I'm gonna do is tie a knot like a really really tight knot and then I'm gonna continue working. So tie the knot and pull it as tight as you can without obviously untying the knot. Um, and then you'll cut off the ends when we're done working. So like, that's my knot. And when we're finished, I'm gonna come back and cut off these fluffy edges. So I've added my second skein to this one and I'm gonna continue knitting. And then when I reach the end of my second skein, again, I'm gonna add on my third until I'm all the way finished with all six skeins. Okay, I have finished knitting my blanket. It's huge. Um, I went through all six skeins and be very careful when you are knitting because you might end up with not enough tail to cast off. Um, so I'm hoping that I have enough to actually cast off. So what we're gonna do in now to cast off is we're going to hold the, what, the working yarn that's left in our hand and we're going to make a loop and transfer it to our other arm like we are knitting still but we're not actually knitting we're going to then transfer a second one over to the arm like we are knitting but this time instead of transferring a third we're going to drop the working yarn and pull the loop from behind the first one that we knitted and go over the other loop and pull it off our hand I'm trying to do it tight so I have enough yarn and then you're gonna tighten that one up on your wrist and then transfer another one over to this arm and do the same thing where you drop the working yarn and pull that stitch from behind over the one you just did tighten your work up and keep going and this is how we're gonna finish our work all right once you get to the last loop that's left on your arm you're gonna to wanna to take what's left of the tail and slide the tail through that loop and then pull tight. And then you'll be left with just this like little end. So make sure that you tie it off tight and then you can just cut the remainder of the tail off. And you can just cut it off. <sighs> so <laughs> expect for this project to take anywhere from one to two hours. So don't get started if you aren't uh, able to finish in that amount of time. Um, it took me almost an hour and a half to do it myself and I know how to do this uh, pretty well since I've done 
several of these before, but I mean, this is a pretty big blanket, substantial length, so it will take some time. So just turn on your Netflix and go ahead and start knitting. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below and let me know that you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.